Hello, this is James Anderson from Test and Tag Supplies, and this is a quick demonstration of the Metrol 3309 print scan pack. The Metrol 3309 is a recording battery operated appliance tester. It's rechargeable from mains power and features earth continuity, insulation, polarity, current leakage, RCD testing, portable RCD testing using internal isolation and voltage measurement. The appliance tester features a 15 amp socket on the front panel, buttons for controlling through the various menus, and at the top of the instrument, an earth bond return lead for earth continuity measurements, and live and neutral and protective earth connections for non-standard Australian plug appliances. At the back of the instrument, we have a kickstand, an IEC lead socket for extension lead testing, and an IEC lead socket for mains power, that's for leakage testing and RCD testing. The main menu screen is the screen that's first presented when it's turned on and from here we can select a simple test, that's a standard test program to Australian standards, a shortcut menu test which is again tests to Australian standards selected by a test number and a single test which is a test selected by a menu where we can select an individual test rather than a test sequence. For example, earth continuity would just be checking the earth continuity of an appliance and not proceeding through an entire sequence. This menu would not normally be used in normal operation, more for fault finding or specific tests. In this setup, the tester is shown with the barcode scanner and the MetTag Pro printer, which we call the Metrol Print Scan Pack. It's an entry level recording, scanning and printing system. The MetTag Pro printer is a mains operated printer, whilst the tester can be either mains operated or battery operated. The scanner is powered from the power for the printer. Whilst the tester does have Bluetooth capability, in this configuration we're using cables between the scanner, the tester and the printer. The Metrol 3309 doesn't feature a QWERTY or alphabetical keyboard on the front of the instrument. Therefore, we enter data using scan sheets supplied with the barcode scanner. Scan sheets feature the most commonly found appliances in each type of environment. They're listed in alphabetical order so the right description can easily be found and scanned in for rapid data entry. So let's carry out a test on the appliance tester and printer tag. First of all, we'd select an appliance. This iron is an earthed appliance where we're doing an earthed appliance test. First of all, we carry out the visual inspection. Once this is done, we connect the appliance to the appliance tester using the 15 amp outlet. We connect the earth return lead to the appliance. We make sure the appliance is in the on position. We then select the appropriate test from the menu. I'm gonna select a simple test and the earth appliance standard test. I press the test button to confirm the test selection. The appliance tester prompts for a visual inspection. We can either continue by pressing pass or let it continue. First of all, the earth continuity test. The appliance tester then moves on to insulation automatically. Following the test and a successful test, the appliance tester indicates a pass with a bright green light and the tick. We are then prompted to save the results. I confirm that using the test button. The appliance tester prompts me for an asset ID number. The appliance ID number will be the number that's given to the appliance and stays with the appliance for the life of the appliance. Each time we test the appliance, we will give it the same number so we can create a history of tests for that item. The appliance ID number is incremental. That is, each time it gives a number, it will increment from one from the previous number for the previous appliance. To confirm the number provided, I hit the memory button. The next part is to enter the description of the appliance. The appliance tester prompts the previous description entered. We need to change that to iron. To enter the description, I can simply pick up the barcode scanner and scan from the list provided. The appliance tester confirms that entry by showing the description on screen. The appliance tester will then prompt me for the retest period, which I can confirm with the memory button. Once I've done that, I need to enter the correct location. Now I'm currently in the office, so I scan the barcode office. 
Once that entered, I can confirm with the memory button. And then finally, select to print a label. Once selecting print, a label is created instantly. The label can then be removed from the printer and applied to the appliance. You'll see from this label that this is an annual test because we've selected a 12 month retest period. The MetTag Pro printer is the only printer that will print a different style tag for a 12 month retest period, allowing white tags and black tags to be differentiated. We can see here on this tag the details which are printed. It features the organization logo, the asset ID number and representing barcode, the type of test that was selected, a simple test, and the fact that it passed, the username of the person operating the tester, and the test date, and the next test date in a standard format. So we're just gonna run through a couple of appliance tests now to show how quickly appliance can be tested, recorded, and printed. We'll take the visual inspections as already done. This will, of course, add time to your appliance testing. So we plug the appliance into the appliance tester and I'll connect the earth return lead to the top of the iron. From the menu I select simple test and also select an earth appliance test. The appliance tester prompts me for the vision inspection and automatically moves on to the earth continuity. Then moves on to insulation And finally, I get to save my results. It prompts me with an asset ID number, which is an incremental number following on from the last number we entered. It asks me for the appliance name, which I scan in. I confirm that entry and indicate the retest period. And finally, I enter the office using the barcode scanner. With that entered, I then move on to printer and print label. The printer prints the tag and I can apply that to the appliance. I now move on to the next appliance. This is a power drill. I plug the appliance into the appliance tester and attach the probe to the accessible metal parts. I select a new test and a double insulated test. The appliance tester prompts me for the visual inspection and make sure the appliance is turned on. The test is complete and I select to save the results. The appliance ID number is prompted, which I confirm. The appliance tester prompts me for the inspection description, which I provide. The retest period, which I confirm is three months. And the location, which isn't changed, so I confirm. I then print the label and apply it to the appliance. The information from all the appliance tests we've carried out are stored in the internal memory of the 3309. This can be viewed on screen by recalling the results. The instrument will hold up to 1500 results. These can then be downloaded to the computer into the Patlink software provided and reports can be printed. The Metro 3309 is of course a recording tester and as part of the print scan pack will print and save results. However, whilst barcode data entry is possible, the appliance tester won't automatically recognise a description from a previously tested appliance. Each time you test, you'll be scanning the description of the item and entering the location at which it's been tested. Thankfully, due to the barcode scanner, as you saw, this can be done very promptly. Once our testing is complete, we would go to our menu, select memory, and we would clear the results from the tester, allowing future tests to be saved. For more information on the Metro Print Scan Pack, contact Test and Tag Suppliers or visit our website at www.tag.com.
testandtagsupplies.com.au. Thank you.